Good morning and welcome to Class Pass Live. My name is Jess and today's workout is a charged workout, which means it's full body with a cardio focus, all right? Make sure your heart rate monitor is on so that I know that you're here with us this morning. At the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see target zones. The longer you're in those zones, the more points you collect, which means the higher up on the leaderboard you'll go. But do not stress if you're not there. That's why I'm here. We're gonna start our day off nice and strong. Team, are we ready? All right, guys, we got a little warm up here. 30 seconds each movement. We got high knees. Here we go in three, two, and one. Bring those knees up nice and easy. Good morning, class pastors at home. Super excited to have you guys with us this morning. I want to introduce you to my studio team. We have Candice. My girl, she's doing all the modifications. So if something doesn't look right, keep an eye on her. We got Joseki with these beautiful curls. Yes, awesome. Over here, Wilson holding it down. Yes, he's smiling. Smile, Wilson. Yeah, there we go. All right, and last but certainly not least, Sabrina. Awesome, guys. We're gonna drop it down to a high plank position in five, four, three, two, and one. High plank right here. Right foot outside the right hand. Just shift that weight forward and back. Deepen that stretch. Good. Nice, guys. Big inhale in through the nose, and as you exhale, reach that right hand up. Hold it, look up at that hand. Good, three, two, and one. Other side, left foot comes outside the left hand. Shift that weight forward and back. Beautiful. Big inhale into the nose. As you exhale, reach that left arm up. Good, hold it. We're gonna meet back down in that high plank in three, two, one. High plank position, two shoulder taps, one push up. So tap left, tap right, elbows in, chest to hit the deck. Tap, tap, push up. Now remember, squeeze your butt and your quads as tight as you can you can always scale this push up to the knees, right? To get that full range of motion. Good. 15 more seconds. Nice. Big exhale as you press yourself up. Good. Just a few more seconds. We're going to come up for jumping jacks. Nice. In five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, team. Jack it out. Nice. So Candace and Wilson are also wearing heart rate monitors. So keep an eye out for them on that leaderboard. Good. 20 more seconds, we're in that green zone again, just warming up the body, just waking up, because we got a lot going on today in this cardio workout. 15 seconds, we're excited. And it's Friday, so happy Friday, y'all. 10 seconds, good. We have a squat to reverse lunge coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Toes slightly pointed out, deep squat, take that reverse lunge on the right. Another deep squat, reverse lunge on the left. So now we're getting into those bigger muscle groups. So you're gonna see that heart rate go up just a little bit. So now we're in that greenish yellow zone. Good. Think about quality over quantity, right? Don't rush these movements. Butt goes below the knees on the squat and the back knee taps the floor every time on that lunge. 10 more seconds, we finish with butt kicks. Excellent, guys. So we finish with that nice little quad release at the end. Hands are gonna go behind the lower back in three, two, and one. Here we go, butt kicks to the end. Last 30 seconds. Good, focus on breathing, focusing on relaxing the neck. Good morning, Aaron from Texas. Yes, hope you're ready for some cardio. Awesome team, 15 more seconds. We have an AMRAP coming up. That means as many rounds as possible. We have three movements and you're gonna cycle through them as many times as you can in three minutes, all right? Last few seconds here, team, and then we're gonna meet on the toes, jumping rope, good. In five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, on your toes right here. So shrug it out, nice. All right, so now we have three movements. We have ladder climbs. That means you're going to imagine climbing up a ladder, but you wanna make it aggressive. Knees up, and you bring the elbows down. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to 20. When you're done, you have 15 air squats. You wanna pick up the pace? Oh yeah, get spicy. And then 10 double count mountain climbers. One, one, two, two, three, three, all the way up to 10. Team, are we ready? You work at your own pace. Let's go, 20 ladder climbs in three, two, and one. Let's go, bring it up. Yes, 20 of them. So make it aggressive. Don't just have, you know, spaghetti arms. Really imagine you're pulling down on something. Yes. Emily and Pesha, are you on your squats yet? Because we're all on our squats. Let's go. 15 of them for speed, right? Yes. Drive through the heels. All the way down, all the way up. Good. We're going to try to go for three full rounds now. 10 double count mountain climbers. Wilson's already on them, uh-oh. Uh-oh, 10 double counts, so if it's easier to count to 20, you can also do that. Good. Excellent, right back to the top, beautiful work. So we still have 15 more seconds in that first minute. Daryl from Atlanta, let's go. Second minute on deck. We gotta get into that second round if you're not there yet, beautiful. Good, Sabrina's on those squats, all the way down, all the way up. So right now we're in that yellow zone, right? We're out of that blue-green, our body's getting warmer. 
Awesome. If your heart rate is going a little bit too high, maybe you slow it down, right? Maybe you don't go as fast, but I have a feeling a lot of us can pick up that intensity just a little bit. This is how we start our workout. Let's do it. Nice, Wilson. Really, really using those arms. Excellent. Shoulders stacked right on top of the wrist. This is beautiful, ladies. Platypus, are you in that yellow zone or the orange zone, right? We're in that in between here. So I need you at that six, seven, all right? Six, seven. Awesome. We're halfway through, team. Come on. It looks like some of us might even get into that fourth round. Maybe we finish that fourth round? I don't know. Yes, we're on a mission this morning. Let's go get that cardio on. Nice, Aki. Awesome. Adam from DC, where you at, right? Are you in that yellow orange as well? Pick up that intensity right here. We're coming up on that final minute of our AMRAP. Good, Candice. Make sure we're breathing, right? Inhales, you go down on your squat. Exhales, you stand up. That's the general rule of thumb with breathing, right? You want to exhale hard on the tough part of the movement. Less than 60 seconds. Here we go. We got a full house. Sophia from Miami and Kara from Chicago. Good morning. Woo! Let's get it, team. Come on. Three full rounds. Get into that fourth. Remember, you don't stop if you finish that third round. Amraps are not over till the very last second. Good. Keeping those knees up, really using those arms. Beautiful job. 30 seconds, team, and we get a rest. Come on. 30 seconds, we rest for 30 seconds while we talk about what's next. I'll distract you for a second while I can, all right? So the circuit that's coming up, there's eight movements. We're going to cycle through two times, all right? Come on, 20 more seconds here in this AMRAP. We're so close. We're so, so close. Here we go, Jaseki. Nice mountain climbers. Driving the knees into the chest every time. Final 10 seconds. Here we go, guys. Bring it up, bring it up. Good. Awesome, awesome job. We're up in five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. Nice job, Candice. All right. Now, we're going to use mats for the next portion of class. So if you want a mat, that would be awesome to grab right now, okay? So we have a couple different movements. We're going to be doing them all twice, all right? So 45 seconds. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're going to start off with a side plank with a knee tap. So my shoulder is going to be stacked right on top of my elbow. And all I'm going to do is bring that left hand here, and I'm going to bring my knee in to tap. All right? So that's the first two movements. We're going to do 45 seconds on the right, 45 on the left. Here we go. In three, two, one. Take it down right here, team. Bring it up, tap that hand, bring it right back. Good, so we're getting that nice core work, that stability in early, because that's our base for every other move that we're gonna be doing. Drive the knee straight and just tap that hand, good. Squeeze your glutes the whole time. Good, modification here, you can hold that side plank, right? If that tap becomes too much, you can just hold that plank. Good, 20 more seconds, we recover. Awesome job. There's 15 seconds between each movement, so it's enough time to shake out the shoulders. Make sure we're nice and relaxed. Good. Good. Last 10 seconds here. Stay with it. Remember, before you drop that bottom hip, maybe you just pause and hold. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Excellent. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here, all right? 10 seconds. Yeah, I know, right? Whew. It's a sneaky one because you get a little bit of a cardio and you get your heart rate up more than a plank. Side plank here, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, tap that right knee into the hand. Take your time. Nice, guys. At home, how are we feeling? Sometimes you guys will notice that one side of the body is a little bit weaker, a little bit stronger than the other. That's totally normal, but that's why we have to separate the sides, right? We can't always do both at the same time. Last 20 seconds, excellent job here, guys. Enjoy this while we're down, because the next one's gonna rev that heart rate up even more, all right? Good, last 10 seconds, team, finish strong, right here. Good, keeping that bottom hip up, I know it wants to sink, don't let it sink. Last few seconds, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent, stand it up, team. Now we have two jump squats and two elevator lunges. All the way down, explode up two times, and then you're going to take it back right, left, Right, left, and of course we gotta even it out. Other side, left, right, left, right. Three, two, and one, let's go. Bring it back. Yeah, so, so much core stuff here, right? You really have to stabilize your core on those elevator lunges, very, very important. Uh-oh, Sophia, holding it down in that number one spot. Excellent job. Keep up the intensity here. I also love this move because it's really good for hip mobility, right? When you have to bring those legs around, really, really good to open up those hips. Nice. Excellent.
keeping that chest up. We only have 15 more seconds here. Great work. Nice. Look at that staying low. Last two seconds. Remember, we earn that rest every time while I demo. Good. Last three, last two, and last one. Beautiful job, guys. So now, Panther Jacks, one of my favorite moves. It's basic here in that you're going to start in a, a, a tabletop position. That's what it is. And you're going to raise your knees just an inch or two off the ground. You jump your feet back like a jack, and you jump them right back in. Knees stay off the ground. Let's get it. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Jump it back, jump it in. Breathing. Try not to let your knees touch the floor at any point. If the jack becomes too much, you can always hold it right here in that panther position. But remember, knees only an inch or two off the ground. The lower, the better. We feel it in the quads, right? We feel it in the core. We feel it in the, in the lungs. I feel it in the lungs. Halfway through, come on. Lots of core stability work right here, team. 15 more seconds, excellent job. Almost there, last 10. Are you jumping those feet nice and wide? Are you squeezing your butt as tight as you can at the top of that? Last five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent team. We have alternating jackknives now. So opposite hand comes up, taps the opposite foot. Your entire back needs to come up off the ground. Let's get it, guys. Opposite, opposite hand, opposite foot. We're up in five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Exhale, come back down. Exhale up. Now, if this is too challenging, use the other hand to help you, right? But still get the entire back up. What you want to avoid is this, when just the shoulders come up, because that's not getting the core. Bring it all the way up. Exhale. Bring it back down. Awesome job, guys. We have 20 more seconds here. Big exhale. And guess what? We're more than halfway through this first set. Yep, as I mentioned before, there are eight movements, right? We're going to do them two times. Last 10 seconds, make them count. Awesome, awesome job, guys. Almost there. Yes, Sabrina. Sabrina's always smiling. I love it. Here we go. Last three, last two, and one. Beautiful, guys. All right, so now we got some plank kick throughs. You're going to start shoulders right on top of the wrist. You're going to bring that right leg out. 90 degree angle, bring it back, and then twist in five, four, three, two, and one. Kick that leg through, bring it back. Woo, holy obliques. Nice. And you want to pick up the pace here so that you get that cardio aspect into the workout, right? If you go too slow, you're going to still get a lot of core work, but you're not going to rev the heart rate up and be in that zone. So let's get it. 30 seconds. Nice, Wilson. Wilson does these in his sleep. He's a dancer. There we go. I, I sometimes think that I'm a dancer when I do this. Sort of. Sort of. Adam, do you? 20 more seconds. Good. Awesome. In that yellow zone still. Beautiful. So we're at that six. I need you at that six out of a scale of one to ten, right? Last few seconds. Beautiful work. We're going to be standing it up in five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful team. All right. Last two movements are the same movement, but just different sides. We have a lateral lunge. Right knee bends. Left stays locked out. All ten toes facing forward. Bring it in. Add that hop. Push the butt back, add the hop. We ready? Let's get it. Three, two, one. Just to the right. Drive it up. Drive it up. Awesome job, guys. Really push that butt back. Woo, 30 seconds. Let's go. Yup, if that hop ever becomes too much, just try to balance, right? Still work on that balance. Get the knee as high as you can. Yes, so good. Awesome. Emily, 20 more seconds. Are you at that 6-7? That's what I need you at, that 6-7. 15 more seconds. Last 10 seconds here. Big finish. Almost there. Good. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Shake it out. We're doing the same thing on the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shrug out those shoulders. 10 seconds. Remember, this is the last thing we have in the first set. Then we repeat everything again. We'll know the movements. We're up in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go other side. Bring it up. Push that butt back, right? You want to push it back so much that if you were to bring the other leg in, you would be in a squat, all right? So make sure you're really pushing back. You're not leaning forward by any means. Good. Get some air on that hop. Good. Take pride in your work now. Excellent. On that halfway mark. Good, Wilson. Oh, Wilson did it. Yes. 
Last few. 15 seconds. Good, last 10. Awesome job. Last five, four, and three, two, one. Excellent job, guys. Shake it out, shake it out. Awesome work. So we're going right back to the top. 10 seconds. We're going to be on that right forearm for the knee taps. All right, let's bring it down. Get our mat situated. We're up in five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that left hand there. Just bring the knee in. Yes. So second round. Some things start to fatigue a bit, right? So make sure you get that form right. You never want to make any sacrifices in your form for speed. Nice, Candice. Excellent job scaling into the knee. That's always an option as well. You're still getting the same amount of core work there. Good. Yes. Uh-oh, platypus making your way to number one. Okay, I see you. I see you. 20 more seconds. Awesome. Maybe now can you pick up the pace a little bit? Can you get that heart rate up just a little bit more? Just saying. Just try it. Last few seconds, team. Last 10. Good. We're going to rest on our butts, right? We're going to just sit right here right after in five seconds. Good. In three, in two, and one. Awesome, guys. Woo! Oh, my Lord. That's right. That's right. We need the Lord. 10 seconds. Yep, we're going to make our way onto the other side now. Same thing. Bottom hip up in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Bring it in. Tap it in. Nice, guys. Who wants to push the pace a little bit in this second set? Who's going to speed it up now that we got that form down, right? We're 15 seconds in. Make the most out of every second. Awesome. Daryl, keep that bottom hip up, right? Keep your body in one straight line. Don't let your butt kind of sneak back. Stay in one straight line. Squeeze your glutes. Good. Last 15 seconds. That's it. Come on. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Great job, Jaseki. Keep that hip up. We got it. Last 10, Wilson. Beautiful. Yeah, we're dripping in here. We're dripping. At home, we hope we're dripping too. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, guys. Standing it up. Yes, yeah, so good. All right. Double jump squat, double elevator lunge, 10 seconds. If you need to, you know, shake it out, get a quick little stretch in, I always encourage that. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Two jump squats. And then two elevator lunges. I really want you guys to rev the heart rate up here, moving at a quick pace. Nice. Ooh, so many things going on, right? Ooh, these lunges though, right? You get the explosive, <laughs> you get the explosiveness of the jump squat, but then you slow it down and you're like, oh, I feel this everywhere. Quads, hamstrings, hips. All that good stuff. Come on, last 10 seconds here. This is the last time we're doing it, come on. Beautiful work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, team, excellent. We're gonna go into those panther jacks now, all right? Panther jacks, can you get those knees even closer to the floor this time, all right? Bringing it down. Oh yeah, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. We're up in five, we're gonna get the knees up. Four, three, Two, one, knees up, let's go. Punch it out. I really want you to squeeze your butt at the top like you're in a wide plank position. And make sure you're bringing the knees right under the hips. You don't want to bring them far back because then you miss out on that core work. Good. Team, we're already halfway through. Come on, last time with this one. Yes. If you need to walk the feet back and in, that's amazing. I want you to keep moving for the whole 45 seconds. Here we go, Aaron. Come on, this is the home stretch. Last 10. We're gonna give those legs a rest in just a few more seconds. Just hold it if you need to. Come on, hold it at home. You got it, you got it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, Sabrina. Beautiful, guys. All right, alternating jackknives on deck. Get excited. Get those obliques going. We're all gonna have six packs at the end of this. Here we go. Up in five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go all the way up. Explode up, right? Like you're late for work and you just heard your alarm for the last time, right? The last snooze. And you're like, oh, just come all the way up. Yes. Excellent, guys. Big exhale up. Woo. Nice. After this set, guys, guess what? We get water. So, Kara, let's go. Pick it up, baby. It's 
20 more seconds, we get um, into our next movement and then we get water at the end. Come on, last 15 seconds. Three movements after this, 10 seconds. Really, really pull that belly button into the spine. Nice, last five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. All right, we're gonna move and make our way into those plank kick throughs now. We're going into our break dancing. Let's get into that high plank a little early. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Shoulders right on top of the wrist, get settled. We're up in three, two, and one. Let's go, get that twist. zone with you all as well. Come on, 15 seconds in. We finish with those leg movements. So we're gonna give the upper body a rest after this. Good. 20 more seconds. Nice, Sabrina. So good, so good. My team is so strong. Team at home, we know that you guys are strong. Let's go. Last 10 seconds here. Good. So good, come on. Finish strong right now. We got five, four, Three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. Awesome work. Shrug out those shoulders. We finish with both of the uh, lateral lunges with the hop, all right? So again, stretch those hips, whatever you gotta do. You got a couple more seconds. Good, we're up in five, four, right side only. Three, two, and one. Let's get it. Last two minutes of work, or actually last 90 seconds of work. Come on. Even stronger, even harder than the first one. I want everyone in that orange zone. So that means I want everyone in that six, seven, maybe even an eight. Good. We'll leave the 9-10 to the burnout, which is happening very soon, too. Keep it up, guys. Awesome. Pesha, what's hurting more, right? The quads or the booty, right? You got to push that butt back every time. 20 more seconds. Can you get a little bit higher? Can you explode off that left leg even more? Nice. Good, Wilson. 10 seconds left. Awesome work. Come on. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. This is it. We ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Last one here. Going to the left. Ten seconds now. Again, pushing that butt back. You got it. No cheating these last two reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get it. Pushing it back. Nice, guys. Excellent. Oh, they're all synchronized. I want to do it with them. Here we go. Pushing it back. Come on, we get water in less than 30 seconds right now. At home, come on, push through it. We gotta earn that water break. We work hard, then we rest hard in 20 seconds. That's it. Because then we finish with our max up. Good. Last 15 seconds, come on. We finish together every time. Last 10. Nice, guys. We got five on the clock. Don't stop early. Come on, get another one or two in. Three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. We don't need mats anymore, so if you want to put yours away, awesome. And grab a sip of water. We got 45 seconds. Very important to hydrate, because now we have our max out, all right? Hmm. Our max out today. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off, nine times. So there's three movements. You're going to do each of them three times. We start with froggers. High plank position. You jump your feet wide outside your hands. You jump it back. You jump it in. Then you rest, and then you have half burpees. Chest hits the floor. Jump your feet wide. So similar. And guess what? The last one, we got full burpees. Chest hits the floor. Jump your feet wide. You add the top. The ah, I cannot speak. You add the hop at the top, all right? So let's get this party started, guys. We're starting with those froggers. Three, two, one. Let's go. Jump the feet wide. You're in that plank and you jump them outside those hands. Excellent. Shoulders stacked right on top of the wrist. If you need to walk it out and walk it in, do so, but do it in a hurry, right? Because this is our sprint. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, eight times. Nine times. Here we go. Three, two, one. Recover. Excellent, guys. So that's one down. One. Just eight more to go. It's fine. Half burpees. Bring it down. Five, four, Three, two, one. Chest to floor. Now jump your feet wide. Chest to floor. Jump them wide. Honestly, in my opinion, these are harder than full burpees, right? Because you don't get that break at the top. Come on. Ten seconds. Getting that cardio on right here. Last few on the clock. Five, four, three, 
two and one. Shake it out. Full burpees, and that's the first set. We got two more sets. Here we go. Full burpees. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands, chest, feet wide, and hop. Hands, chest, feet wide, and hop. Remember, no push-up in a burpee. It's explosive. A, a burpee is much more of that conditioning versus the push-up is much more of the strength. Good. Your hips come up first. Three, two, one, and time. Excellent. So guys, we got two more rounds of that. Easy peasy. We're going back to those froggers. Let's go. High plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go at home. Jump those feet wide. Jump. Drop the butt down. You don't want to leave the butt in the air, right? Frogs don't leave it up in the air. If you need to, you can always release the hands up off the ground, right? That's going to help you drop your butt. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent team. Yes. Oh, yeah. It burns. It burns so good. But we're done after these things, so it's cool. Half burpees. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay consistent, right? I like to count my reps from round to round to make sure that I'm not slacking in the last two. Ten seconds. We're in that orange zone, guys. Come on, I need you in that seven, eight. That high seven, eight, because pretty soon we're going to be in that red zone. Last five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, guys. Holy moly. Finishing with those burpees. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Finish that second set strong. Elbows in nice and tight to the ribs. We're already halfway through. Come on. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Recover. Guys, last round. Last minute of work, last one. Here we go, we're up in five, four, three, froggers, two, one. Last 60 seconds of work. We gotta want it, right? This is how we finish our week. We start our weekend, we start our Friday. Let's get it at home, come on. Last time we're doing these froggers. Five, four, three, two, and one. 40 seconds, that's it. We can do anything for 40 seconds and we get another rest after these. Bringing it down for those half burpees. Three, two, one, chest hits the deck. Jump the feet wide. Remember, land on your entire foot. Don't land on your tippy toes. Come on, we're getting into that orangey red. 10 seconds. I need you at that nine. All out nine right here. In three. Two, one. I need everyone here. We're all getting into the red right now. I need you at that 9, 10. Maxing out for your last 20 seconds of your workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Right to it. Come on, guys. You want to get a burpee every three seconds. Here we go again. Woo! Big push. Last 10. Don't stop to the very last second. Come on. Last three. Two, one, and done. Nice job, guys. Way to finish strong. Beautiful work. Let's cool it down. Whew. Oh yeah, I think I got into the red zone. Let's bring it down to that child's pose. Bring your butt to your heels, walk your fingertips away from you, separate your knees, and press your underarms down towards the ground so you feel this in your upper back. Awesome, awesome job, guys. Let's come up into this tabletop position. Don't worry, no more panther. Um, we're gonna do cat and cow pose. Big inhale in through the nose, round your spine, navel in. Big exhale through the mouth, arch that back, look straight ahead, good. Two more times, big inhale in and round. And let it go through the mouth. Last one here, biggest inhale in and hold. Hold it. And biggest exhale through the mouth. Curl the toes under, push back into down dog. Pedal out the feet left and right. Try to get one heel to the ground at a time. Good. Kick that right leg up towards the ceiling. Send it, that ankle straight to the left side, towards that left wrist. Untuck the left toes. Square the hips. Walk the hands away from you. back under the shoulders, push back into down dog again. Kick
kick that left leg up now. And kick that ankle towards the right wrist. Untucking the right toes, squaring the hips, walking the hands away. Nice. Let's put our hands back under the shoulders, pushing back to down dog one last time. Press through the palms and the heels simultaneously. Shoot that butt up towards the ceiling. Push, push, push. Start to walk those feet in towards the hands. We're gonna slowly roll it up. We got four, three, two, and one. Interlace the fingers in front. Press the palms away from you. Separate the shoulder blades, hollow out the belly. And then a big reach up like someone's pulling you up. Keep that tension, go side to side. Good. Hold me back in the center one last time. Take a big inhale in through the nose as you come up onto the tippy toes. Keep it up, reach it up. And one big exhale through the mouth as you come down. Excellent, excellent job, guys, at home. Take pride in your work. This is never easy stuff, but it's always worth it. Log into the ClassPass app. Under past classes, you'll find your total calories burned, total points earned, and even your average heart rate, all right? Own it. Have a great rest of your Friday, and we'll see you soon.